Hi guys, and welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Let's look around this area a little bit more. Maybe there's some more clues around this area. Because I don't think we're done here. What about in here? Maybe there's stuff in here, I don't know. Not seeing anything though. And it's not telling me to look in this mode. So it doesn't look as if there's anything in here. Okay. Well, I'm glad we ruled that out. What about in here? Got a metal box. Um, I want to look at the mailbox. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. All right, so we'll get to pick the lock. Okay. We'll work our way from the, the back in. That goes down there. Put that up there. Um, put that there. And there we go. I'm getting better at picking locks. The Mexican Documents. company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mine. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft. <coughs> Hmm, okay. So we need to speak to Mycroft. Here's a telegraph to discover more about the WEA Coal Company. We can also see if we can make a deduction, but I don't think there's anything to do just yet until we find out more. So we've explored the mines and we will head to Examine the side railway branch at Evesham and the side railway branch that leads to the quarry at the station between Chesterfield and Evesham. So we're going here. I think. Crime and punishment. I swear, the book and reads changes every time. I don't know if it's maybe just me seeing things. Continue it. Alright, um... So this is Doncaster. That's a bit... Character. He looks anxious. And He's a bit rude. Lost. An Englishman. Cigar stuff. Didn't even put it out. How rude. Mm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. Oh, the many games were in bad. Okay. Right. Tilt it down. And then. Where would that go? Here? Oh my god. I'm so bad at the mini games. Why would you do this to me? Specifically this one I'm bad at actually. Like I don't seem to tilt it enough or I tilt it the wrong way. Mint leaves. Um, well, I don't know where to put them. say just now. That doesn't seem right, it should be up a bit, right? And then it doesn't connect there if I try to connect it from the side. Put that there. And then the mint leaves here. No? No, that's not right. Where the hell do the mint leaves go? Looks as if they should be down. Like here, but then it's not connected up there. Like I don't know if I'm just not understanding this mini game at all. And I just can't seem to get it tilted at the right. Right, 
clickbait level. Confuses me too much. What if I do it this way? That seems better. And then that goes there. There we go, I've done it. Cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man. Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Terence, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Don't be so silly, Watson. Okay, we've got an ashtray here. Piece of burnt paper. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. What does it say? Uh, those Apparently, Chilean. There was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. I couldn't quite read what the, the next word was, but I think we can look at it in our evidence. A burned note that was found in the ashtray at Doncaster Racing Hall. It still has a few legible sentences that highlight conflict between the Mexicans and the Chil Chileans. I say Chileans, but he's saying Chileans, so now I'm starting to doubt my own pronunciation. A brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Okay. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Well, I know that, but I figured may as well look at it. Exhaust all possibilities. Now we've got tickets through there. Where did the man go to, though? That's what I want to know. Got more stuff over there, actually, but I don't know if there might be anything important or not. It's worth a look if the guy's been around for a couple of days. Nope. Okay. I think he went this way, or he went outside. But either way, I want to look inside first. Okay, we've got the office table. We've got horse Mr. racing magazines. On horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing, he is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Oh, I thought I could see that. Oh, it's just horse racing magazines. Oh, we can take the tickets. So we've got a couple of betting tickets. For horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Okay. My dog is snoring away and I'm, I, I think it might be getting picked up on my microphone just looking at the uh, the audio levels. Right, okay, contact Mycroft. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. There are two companies, the Chilean Barcazas and the Mexican Caracal. Both wanted to purchase the WEA coal mines. The Mexican Caracal Consortium had established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Barcazas group, aided by their influential connections, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mines. Okay. A telegraph. So we found out more about WEA coal. We can make a connection, which is the Mexicans versus Chileans in the WEA coal and Chileans. Both the Mexican consortium Caracal and the Chilean group Barcazas are willing to purchase the mines and that's connected to WEA Co has sold the mines to the Chilean Barcazas company despite the initial deal with the Mexican Caracal. So the Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business after all. And that's connected to the Chileans were left, which is possible that the Chileans made the train vanish in order to steal the prototype from Mr Robinson. 
So it's theft. I still don't know whether the mines were collapsed to hide the train or if the mines were... Someone wanted to close them intentionally. I'm going for concealment. In fact, we'll see if any of that's connected to the theft. Nope, that's a wrong deduction, so we'll go for concealment. Right. Go for that. Just now. Man, this whole science of deduction, deduction is hard. Or, as I was saying last part, abduction. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Okay, well, how do I get to it? Oh, there's a station master there. Um, don't get distracted. What do we do first? Alright, we can get to it down here. Maybe we can get dialogue and then speak to that guy. Uh, is this where you wanted me to look? It is, isn't it? Or was I not paying much attention? Which is probably likely because I'm not seeing anything that, you know, is important here, Watson. There's a large flooded area near the dog. Yeah, so that's just like a dialogue option. Alright, um... Oh, to take the stairs. Why can't you just use your legs and climb? Right, let's speak to the station master. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff. The station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. Ah, uh, well, let's check him out a little bit. Oh, I nearly sneezed there, but I did not. So he's mm, melancholy. Um, he's got no watch. Got a ring mark. Oh, divorced. And a missing button. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Uh, let's talk about the passengers. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Uh, tell us about the gambling man. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? Uh, horse racing tickets. We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. So he sold his ring and his watch, I'm assuming. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Watson, it seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. 
The man at Doncaster who fared our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. My thoughts... exactly. Um, we can make a deduction, but can we? Um... Flooded quarry, and possibly... Did I not connect WA coal and chillings to something else? Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't connected. Um, just seeing if there is any connections between some of these things. Don't think so. Alright. Is there anything in here to look at? I want to look at things. Is that a door? Oh, it's a door to the other side. That's disappointing. Oh, so where did the guy go to? I wonder if he's back in here since it's a loading screen. Oh, see, Please, we're going sir, through that we again. Ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Alright, let's investigate a little bit. So he's got wrinkles, smart clothes, bow tie, strong build, expensive cigar, and he's into the martial arts. I thought you were Mexican. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why do you think I'm Mexican? Ah, uh, the cigars that you're smoking. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. Uh, what is your business here? I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them, or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Oh, okay. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Alright, there's some weird UI flashing there. Um, I don't know if that might be. Suspicious Mexican at Doncaster could be connected to WA Coal and Chilians. Yep. So it could be, instead of no grudge, the Mexicans are angry. The Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chilean Barcazas group as the Chileans were favoured for purchasing the coal mines despite the Mexicans' preliminary sales contract. Uh, the Mexicans organised the Chileans' stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. For Chileans. But then nothing else is connected. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap up this part here. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day, and I love you all. Bye.